Wrapping up her stay in China following the G20 summit, President Park Geun-hye is due to depart for Laos for the ASEAN summit. So far, in Russia and China, the South Korean leader has been winning international support to rein in North Korea's nuclear development while highlighting Seoul's ideas to foster economic growth. She will sit down with U.S. President Barack Obama as soon as she lands in Laos. Our Song Ji Son, who's traveling with the president, looks back on her last two stops and has a preview of her trip to Southeast Asia. From the Eastern Economic Forum in Russia to the G20 summit in China, President Park Geun-hye has been highlighting Korea's initiatives for global growth and regional security, advocating open trade and innovation as the answer to low growth. President Park will continue her diplomacy drive by revving up Seoul's partnership with the massive ASEAN economic bloc. Global경제협력의 South Korea has also been turning the screw on North Korea. After agreeing to reinforce strategic communication with Russia and China on the North Korean issue, President Park will sit down with U.S. President Barack Obama soon after she lands in Laos on Tuesday and with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe the next day, sending a united message to Pyongyang from all the members of the six-party denuclearization talks. At events like the East Asian Summit, the best strategic forum in the region that's attended by the leaders of ASEAN, the U.S., China, Japan and Russia, President Park will call on the world to send a strong message that North Korea's nuclear program cannot be tolerated. We must continue to cooperate to help Pyongyang make the right choice. At our last stop of VNTN Laos for the ASEAN Summit, President Park will continue her call to implement the UN sanctions to pressure North Korea and to boost job creation and growth through open trade. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News, Hangzhou.